Good day everyone! So, paano ba natin malaman yung primitive lattice vectors natin? Ang primitive lattice vectors natin, kailangan natin yan para makuha yung reciprocal lattice vectors kasi dyan tayo lagi nagsisimula. Para makuha lang yung primitive lattice vectors, kailangan lang natin tandaan na pupunta tayo from one lattice point to the nearest lattice points. So, kailangan natin yung vector na magtransit sa atin ng ganun. So, we can take two examples to clarify this concept. First, tignan natin is ang ano to? This is your simple cubic. So, going from one lattice point to the next nearest lattice points, it will be translation along the cube's edge. So, dito, it will be just here, here, and here. So, ito yung primitive lattice vectors natin. A1, A2, and A3. Where A1 is equal to A, X hat, Assume natin na A, yung length ng cube. So, it traveled A distance along the X direction. Ito yung X direction natin. We have A X hat for A1. For A2, this will be equal to A Y hat. Travel A units along the Y direction. And sa A3 natin, it traveled A units along the Z direction. So, A3 would be equal to A Z hat. So, for simple cubic, straightforward lang. Primitive lattice vectors niya is yung vectors ng side ng cube. But what if hindi na siya simple cubic? Paano pag meron na siyang modification? Such as yung nandito. Ito ay ang tinatawag nating PCC. Alam nyo yan. Kasi nag mat E11 kayo at pumasa kayo. Kasi nandito na kayo. So, sa BCC natin, yung primitive lattice vectors natin is hindi... Ito, ito, and ito. Mali yan. That is wrong. Hindi ito yung primitive lattice vectors natin for BCC. Kasi, para makuha natin primitive lattice vectors, kailangan natin pumunta from one lattice point to the next nearest lattice point. And from this lattice point here, yung next nearest lattice point niya is not the other corner, but yung body center natin. So now, what we have to do now is just to connect yung from that corner to the body centers or alternatively, pwede tayong magsimula sa ating body center. So we can start at the body center and making our way to the different corner points. So yung lattice cent, yung body center natin, this one, this is located at 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. Dead center in the cube. As a body center siya. So, pwede natin i-define yung primitive lattice vectors natin from this body center here to the three corner atoms na hindi collinear. Ito, ito, and ito. This would be A1, A2, and A3. So, sa A1 natin, to get from the body center, this is your origin, to A1, a1 is at positions 1 along x, 1 along y, and 0 along z. So to get from origin to this point here, this point x, yan yung A1 natin. And A1 will be equal to 1 minus 1 half, 1 half, gano kahaba yung length ng cube, 1 half. A. So, 1 half A yung travel niya from center to this corner atom here along the x direction, x hat. Along the y direction, nag-travel din siya ng 1 half A y hat. And along the z direction, ang galing ka from 1 half, bumaba ka to 0. So, magkakaroon ka ng minus 1 half A z hat. So, remember lang, Itong A na to, ito yung side ng cube natin. So, parang constant lang yan na length ng cube. So, similarly, we can do this same analysis with A2 and A3. Sa A2 natin, yung corner na to, this is at 0, 1, 1. And at A3, yung corner na to, this is at 1, 0, 1. And we'll get for A2, this would be equal to negative 1 half 
a x hat plus one half a y hat plus one half a z hat and a3 will be equal to one half a x hat minus one half a y hat plus one half a z hat we can simplify these expressions and makuha natin that our primitive lattice vectors for bcc would be ito, 1 of a times x plus y minus z x plus y minus z you have for a2 negative x plus y plus z multiplied by 1 half a and for a3 it will be 1 half a times x minus y plus z hat so thank you yay